what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? NASCAR's Cup Series All-Star Race was not a good one for Bubba Wallace. Appearing at a qualifier on Wednesday in Bristol, Tennessee, he was booed when his name was announced to add insult to injury. He was again booed when his car crashed. Now that's the NASCAR I know. Yeah. So here's the reason why they were booing him, besides the fact that he was black anyway, prior to any type of conflict that they have with him now, any, any type of recent conflict, right? He found a noose in his garage and the media made a big old stink of it. He posted it on social media and everybody f thought that one of the racists, you know, because there's a bunch of racists involved in, in, in the racists. You dig what I'm saying? So what I did there. So they thought that, you know, regular old racists had put up the noose and it, they thought that it was something fresh. Well, you know, regular old racists probably did put up the noose, but they say that it had been there well before he had uh, started using the garage. Somehow, I don't know if he had just started using it or he had overlooked it or whatever, but they're saying that uh, nobody targeted him and it was blown, blown out of proportion. In any event, NASCAR took the, I guess, groundbreaking step of banning the Confederate flag from their events. But at this event in Bristol, Tennessee, no surprise, it was in the South, they protested. They had vendors with Confederate flags, fans wearing Confederate flags on their T-shirts. They had people lying in the streets and the, and the, the actual uh, raceway itself, the track. They, people waving the Confederate flag directly across from the main entrance, hanging from a condo uh, balcony was a Confederate flag. So these, uh, I was about to say people, these uh, individuals, they love that Confederate flag. In 1860 through 61, 11 states seceded from the United States to protect the institution of slavery, forming the Confederate States of America, entering the Civil War. During the war, the military used a variety of flags. The one that stuck was the battle flag that we know now as the Confederate flag. That flag they love to brag about is a symbol of Southern heritage, they say. But the truth is, it is a symbol of slavery and white supremacy. But it is also a symbol of loss, losing. You see, because they got their asses slaughtered by the hundreds of thousands. Couldn't win. Killed all their great, 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 great pappies. Took their asses out. Trying to take over the United States. How you gonna do that to my country? Tow their asses up. What I wanna know is, why is it that these individuals hang on to and love so dearly something that represents losing, something that's so offensive to others. I 
think I got it. I think I got it. They're losers. Bubba Wallace is the only top tier black person that races in NASCAR. So, you know, he's pretty much, you know, a man on an island all by himself. But Bubba took the high road. He said that we're always paying so much attention to the negative. He said that people think that all NASCAR fans are racist. And that's not true. I believe that. All NASCAR fans are not racist. But damn, a lot of them are. Ooh, man. You want to go to a Klan rally? Check out a NASCAR event. It's a lot of them, baby. It's a whole lot of them. It was a lot of them at that event. 30,000. 30,000. Uh, one resident said that they didn't want them there because they had, like, what did they say, in one county over, like, 20, like 29 cases, new cases of people tested positive for COVID-19 in one day. <laughs> 30,000 people in the middle of a pandemic. A, a whole lot of them, I think it's safe to say, are going to catch COVID. In fact, they already got it. This was a few days ago, so they got it. A whole lot of them got it. The crazy part about it is that a lot of them had it before they went to the event. Oh, yeah. A whole bunch of losers. What is so important about the Confederacy? It represents losers. I got a question, fam. Maybe you can help me out. How long do you think these losers are going to continue to fork over money for this toilet paper flag? No more talk. What the ladies talking about?